Interpersonal skills are one of the most overlooked and essential career development tools. Whether you're an entrepreneur, manager, or looking for work, interpersonal skills are critical for your communication and relationship success. In this video, I will list out the most essential interpersonal skills you need to know. First, what are interpersonal skills? Interpersonal skills, also known as people skills or soft skills, are how well you communicate, interact, and relate to others. Someone with exceptional interpersonal skills might be said to have high PQ or interpersonal intelligence. What's interesting is that there are many types of interpersonal skills. Someone with great interpersonal skills might be able to speak so people listen, decode body language, negotiate easily, be highly charismatic, have high empathy, be socially assertive, read facial expressions, be more likable. The big question is, can you actually improve your interpersonal skills? And if so, how? Quick answer, yes. Absolutely, you can greatly improve your PQ. Long answer, unlike IQ, PQ can be developed. You don't have to be born with exceptional interpersonal skills to have high interpersonal intelligence. I have taught interpersonal skills for more than a decade and have found that the best way to improve your interpersonal skills is by breaking them up into three buckets. First bucket, verbal communication. The first and most important interpersonal bucket is how we communicate with our words. From negotiations to interviews to chit chat in the break room, being able to communicate effectively is essential. There are two aspects to verbal communication, knowing what to say and knowing how to say it. People with high interpersonal intelligence are verbally talented. They can calm someone down, answer a difficult interview question, or ask for a raise with ease and confidence. They also know how to phrase their words so people listen. Let's do a little self-test. On a scale of one to five, one being horrible and five being incredible, how would you rate your verbal communication? Are you a verbal ninja? Rate yourself now. Second bucket is nonverbal communication. Body language is an essential interpersonal skill and makes up the unspoken aspect of our communication. Nonverbal communication is not just how we move our body, it's also our facial expressions and voice tone. People who are very gifted nonverbally are able to both control their own body language cues and decode other people's cues. Oftentimes, we're better at one than the other. Let's rate your nonverbal skills. On a scale from one to five, one being horrible, five being incredible, how would you rate your nonverbal intelligence? Are you great at decoding nonverbal cues? Can you spot tells? On the other hand, how are you at controlling your body language communication? Rate yourself now. Third bucket is relationship management. The last bucket of interpersonal skills is relationship management. Relationships are a two-way street. You must be able to set up boundaries, communicate your needs, and be socially assertive. That's where high emotional intelligence comes in. While at the same time, you also must be empathetic, read other people's needs, and respond with authenticity. On a scale of one to five, one being horrible, five being incredible, how would you rate your relationship management? Are you happy with your current relationships? Are you able to express yourself, set boundaries? Rate yourself now. Now total up your ratings. If you excel at all three interpersonal skills, you would have a total of 12 to 15 points. This is the highest score you could get. And if you gave yourself 12 to 15 points, I would say your interpersonal skills are excellent. You are a pro and should consider mentoring others. If you add up your total and got nine to 11 points, then your interpersonal skills need a little work. Try to target one bucket that is most important for your day-to-day -day success and start there. If you scored less than eight points, then your interpersonal skills desperately need some help. In fact, you have the most room for transformational success. Investing in your people skills could be the greatest step you will take in your career. Here's where to start. I want you to tackle your most urgent bucket. When I went through each of the three interpersonal buckets, which one was the most in need of help? Verbal communication? nonverbal communication, or relationship management. Which bucket do you use most on a day-to-day -day basis? Pick one and then start with these steps. If you want to improve your verbal communication, I would check out these resources that we have prepared for you. You can search our YouTube channel for them, click the link to watch the video, or get the full written tutorial at our website, scienceofpeople.com.
First, let me give you our favorite verbal guide. I want to teach you how to talk to anyone, to colleagues, making chit-chat at a party, or getting to know a new friend. What about nonverbal communication? Start with our seven hand gestures you should be using. Do you use your hands? Maybe you should. I walk you through why hand gestures are the most important starting nonverbal skill. Then check out the body language of leaders. If you want to master your nonverbal, we have to learn from the masters. I dive into seven thought leaders and what you can learn from their nonverbal. Lastly, learn how to decode the face. Reading facial expressions is one of the most essential nonverbal skills. Be sure to check out the full microexpression guide at scienceofpeople.com slash microexpression. Okay, last bucket here is relationship management. First, learn my six steps to stop people-pleasing and start doing what's right for you. Setting boundaries can be one of the most difficult parts of relationship management. No worries, I got your back with six steps to help. Next, learn how to speed read someone's personality. I think speed reading people is a skill most people have never even heard of. It will blow your mind and your relationships. Use our free personality test at scienceofpeople.com personality to test your personality and send it to your friends. And lastly, make sure you're up to date on the 10 master level people skills every professional should know. Visit scienceofpeople.com slash people skills and learn my 10 essentials to test yourself. I have one final challenge for you. If you really want to level up your interpersonal skills, I encourage you to check out the only science-backed soft skills training for high achieving professionals. It's called People School and our next class is opening up soon. Get on the waitlist and find out more at scienceofpeople.com slash school. Are you living up to your full potential? Do you want more? I would love to help you. Get started with my free training and learn more about People School today. Visit scienceofpeople.com slash school. You are amazing. You're fantastic. I'm so grateful for you. How's that for managing our relationship? That's my favorite bucket. Check out more from us and be sure to subscribe to our channel and like this video.